Hello and welcome to the Delphi how-to video series. My name's Steve Jervis and I am the Master Tech here at Delphi. Today we're going to go through diagnosing and replacing an oxygen sensor, commonly known as Lambda sensor or O2 sensor. The O2 sensor detects how much oxygen is in the exhaust gas. They feed that information back to the ECU so the engine can ensure it is feeding the correct amount of fuel for optimum performance and efficiency. They are performance critical parts and if faulty they need replacing as soon as possible. The first indication of a fault the driver is likely to see is the illuminated malfunction indicator lamp or MIL. Before you replace the sensor you must diagnose the problem. Connect any one of the Delphi DS range of diagnostic tools. Select the correct vehicle and read the fault codes. Confirm fault code by selecting live data and comparing the value of the suspect faulty sensor to that of a known working sensor. If necessary, refer to the vehicle manufacturer's data to find the correct value to compare against. Other tooling and equipment may be required to determine whether it is the wiring or the actual sensor that's at fault. Delphi do a range of breakout equipment and also harness repair kits. By looking at real-time data, you can work out which sensor it is that's faulty. Before we start, it's good practice to wear personal protection equipment. So first step is to remove the electrical connection. To remove the sensor, there is a dedicated socket. Now we can remove it. Once removed, you can discard the sensor and replace with new. To protect against sensor becoming welded into its threading, Delphi sensors come with an anti-seize compound either pre-applied or included in the box. If required, apply the compounds to the new sensor before refitting. Ensure that you've taught the sensor to the recommended manufacturer's specifications and reconnect the electrical connector. Now to reconnect the DS tool and clear the faults. Now all that's left is to start the engine, make sure the mill light goes off and carry out a short road test. So that's how you change an O2 sensor. For more how-to videos, visit our website delphiautoparts.com and thanks for watching.